Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Stealth Series. Today we're going to be talking about tools and tips, ways to help you out when you're doing your little stealthy things. Okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about is this cord. Now this cord is simply a 20 something foot piece of 550 paracord. The good strong real 550 paracord. Now, I've tied an overhand knot about every six to eight inches down its length. That makes it like two lines, see? This is a jack of all trades because with this, I can go around trees and anchor lines quickly and quietly. So all I gotta do is just throw it around the tree and I can pass it back through itself just like that and have a cinch. So I can hook a hammock up to a tree if I want to. Pull it around, pull it, and then pull the hammock up and hook to the cord. I can put other things up. I can make quick um, lines and things like that, and it's quiet. See, I can simply take the line and pass it back through any place where there's a knot and put a toggle in here, which is just simply a stick. With this, I can take it and pass it around a tree, let's say, real quick. And all I've got to do is go around the tree, come back and go between any opening, okay? Open it up and put a toggle in there, just like that. And then when it pulls tight against the tree, it holds, see? At the same time, it's a quick disconnect because all I got to do is reach up and go zip, and it falls right off the tree, see? So I can put up a ridge line. These openings between, meaning if I'm trying to make a hide shelter, I've got along my ridge line these openings where I can stick sticks in from the side, like that, crisscrossing through that. So when I pull it tight, it anchors everything quietly in place. So now I can pile leaves and debris up there on it, and it doesn't move. It don't make a lot of noise. Okay, I can take one in and come up to a tree, pass it back through itself. And if I want a quick disconnect, all I got to do is wherever I come out, right there, take me a toggle and stick it in it. Just like that. Now I cinch it up to the tree. Alright, and I come over here to the other side. I'm going to come around twice. I'm going to pass it back through its own loop. Just like that. And then right there, I'm going to put another toggle. Just like that. And that forms a fairly strong ridge. Now, I want to use this to make a ridge line for a quick shelter, something quiet. I just got a couple of sticks here. Well, now, all I've got to do is bring a stick up from the ground, open it up, and put it between that stick. I take the next one, I turn it the other way, and I put the stick in. I take the next one, turn it the next way, and I put the stick in. And so I keep adding to it as I go. So, this one I put in this way. I turn it the opposite way. I put my next stick in. And this will be a long stick going all the way to the ground. I put it up there. And I come from this one. I hook from the far side. And rotate it back this way, stick it in the ground. Put the next one on this end, you know, like this. I'm going to come this way, and I'm going to go the opposite way, stick it to the ground. And see, that holds them. All I'm doing is weaving it as I go, and now these will become the ribs of a hide shelter. Stick, twist over, stick, twist over, stick, twist over. No tying, no nothing. Then I pile my debris up and I got a debris shelter. Oh, with just a pair, a piece of cord that's tied in a double loop. That's all. I got to tie a bunch of knots. This will do the job. Another thing that this is really good for is for transporting. So let me show you how that's going to work right quick. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume that we've got, say, a deer 
that we've come in here and we've gotten. And we want to transport the meat back out. So we've processed the meat down to the big hunks that we're going to carry out. And so what we're going to use is going to be a trash bag. We're going to take one of the big industrial trash bags. Thicker than a regular trash bag. Lawn and leaf bags, things like that. But look for the ones that say that they're the bigger, thicker bags. He's got a lot of uses. Now, notice how shiny that is. It would behoove you to lay this out flat and take a can of spray green, flat green paint. Something like forest green or something like that and just dust it. You know, don't try to really cover it, but just spray over it so it turns it from this shiny black plastic to a dull green. It'll blend in better in the woods, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and we're going to put our meat on the inside of it. So let me get the bulky weight in and I'll show you. Okay, I'll get my meat in here like a want. Squeeze all the excess air out of it. And I want to gather it up nice and tight and I'm going to turn it around a couple times. And I'm going to open the bag back up and put it into it like this. So I'm rolling the excess over as another layer. Just like this. So I get it. Good and packed in like this. Now I take that cord, I open it up, and I come down like the second opening. Okay? And I go all the way around and I put it through it. Just like this. And now I'm going to roll it up over those knots until I pull it tight as I can get. Now I can go around this way, without any knot, open it up, and come back through, okay? Pull it tight that way, and that makes a nice contained bundle. Now I take the two loop ends right here that I've got where I made this connection, okay? I'm simply going to pass them through themselves, back and forth, alternating a couple of times okay just like this and that will lock it all together we ain't got to tie a knot it's just loops okay ready to go now now comes the next piece I cut a Y stick a good you know, nice thick strong stick and whenever I put it up here I want that notch just above my shoulder line okay now I take that loop and I'm going to pass it through. I'm going to use my shoulder and I'm going to pick it up like a hobo stick, right? You saw that a lot in the old, you know, papers and stuff like that. Come up and put that loop over, but anchor it to this, this stick, okay? Now, I take the stick and I put it up here on my shoulder, hobo fashion, like that. I pick the stick up and I walk with it. When I get tired, all I do is I bring the stick straight down and touch it to the ground and I can stand up and sit here and hold it. The weight's still hanging on the stick. I can, I'm not holding anything other than balancing it. So now I can have 150 pounds of meat sitting there. Now I can take a minute, I can breathe, I can lean it up against the tree, whatever. When I'm ready to go again, swing it back around my shoulder and just lift up the bottom and the weight sits right here. Now I'm putting some patter here or something and I will walk with it like this. Whenever I get tired, I just bring it down and stand up and hold it. And that takes the weight off of me. This is called a HOD, H-O-D. It was used extensively in Europe for toting heavy loads of firewood and things like that. Some bulky material. Well, I adapted it for carrying hunks of meat, hunks of hog, hunks of deer, back out, turkey a big turkey or something like that that I didn't want to make a lot of noise and by painting this just something to dull it down so it doesn't shine in the woods it's fairly quiet so I can put it behind my shoulder and just lift up so my lower hand is holding on the stick and lifting up 
my upper hand holds right here and this way with these two and kind of balancing like that I can walk with it but at any point if I get tired and I need to stop a minute all I gotta do is just put the stick down and stand up I ain't gotta put the weight down so if I see something here they just quietly and lean it up against the tree and I'm free to maneuver around quietly I can come back for it what am I out if I don't? I got meat, I got a plastic garbage bag, I got a stick I cut, and I got a piece of paracord. That's it. But I'm toting 150 pounds of meat this way, or up to something like that. Pick it up, lean it on the shoulder, so it's on my back. That'll keep it from rolling, because it's on my back, and I can walk with it. At the same time, the fact that it's inside this bag, I'm not getting blood all over me. And I'm not toting a deer on my shoulders. A lot of guys go, man, I just throw it up there. Guys, they're looking for deer. And if you're looking down through that woods down yard and you see a deer's head doing that, that's going to attract a lot of attention, isn't it? So the object of the game here is not to be seen, to be quiet. And so that loop, all it is is a 20-something foot of 550 paracord doubled in half and then every six to eight inches just do an overhand knot. That's it. Quick and easy. And you can come up to the tree and lean it up against the tree. So if I make a loop and lay it down and I stack firewood and then I can bring the loop around the firewood, pass it through and it'll cinch down. I can do that on a hod and carry a bunch of firewood out. I can carry whatever supplies, whatever resources I came in here to get, I can carry it out that way with very little fuss. Now, yeah, you just, I'll just tote my big old Alice pack. Yeah. But the thing is, that Alice pack is large and bulky, and yeah, it's a great way to tow it over a long distance. But it's big and it's bulky and it makes a lot of noise carrying it. I'm toting this folded up in a cargo pocket and I'm carrying a rolled up painted black plastic garbage bag. That's it. I'm not attracting attention. I can have these in my cargo pockets when I come walking through the convenience store before I even go out there and nobody's going to pay me any attention. See? And yet when I get out there and I do score that and I do now need to transport it out. All I got to do is whip out the Swiss Army knife and cut me a fork like this. Take the bag to process the meat, the, the hog, the turkey, the whatever. The bunch of fish. But fish, here's one thing. If you're going to tote out a bunch of fish, heavy fish this way, remember fish got barbs. Carry a pair of side dikes and cut the barbs off the fish before you put them in there. Otherwise they poke through everything and they'll poke into your back. Ask me how I know about that. So, to recap, this simple piece of paracord can hang up and become hammock straps by just going around a tree and going through the loop. They can be turned into a firewood carrier. They can be turned into a ridge line between point A and point B and then just stick sticks up between these 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 uh, loops so that when you pull it tight it binds them up and that will hold sticks I can then pile up and make a breeze shelter right quick. I can take this and put a series of sticks with it and just twist it tighter and tighter as I go with a toggle. So I pull it up tight, stick the next one in, pull it up tight, stick the next one in and make a platform or make a raft or make whatever I need quick and easily in the field without having to do a lot of work. It's the, the jack of all trades that makes it possible. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave any questions and comments below, and thank you very much for supporting this series. I'll be doing more in the future. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.